So in this video, we're going to find the derivative of a constant function using the definition of the derivative. So we're taking a function f of x equals c, where c is any real number, so c is just a constant. And another way of saying that c is a real number is to use the symbol for the real numbers, the double barred r. We could say c is an element of the real numbers. And the claim is that if we take the derivative of a constant function, d dx of f of x or d dx of c, where d dx tells us to take the derivative of the thing that comes directly after it, that the derivative of a constant is equal to zero. Now we justified the derivative, we justified the fact that the derivative of a constant function is zero in the previous homework assignment where we looked at the graph of a constant function and we said hey if we have a constant function its graph is just going to be a horizontal line so here's f of x equals z, uh, sorry f of x equals c and if you have a horizontal line the slope or steepness of it is zero in fact the equation of a horizontal line is zero x plus c where m equals zero is the slope of that line. So the derivative of a, of a line is the slope of a line. But we could also have established the, that the derivative of a constant function is zero by using the definition of the derivative. So we uh, came up with uh, the idea of taking the limit as h goes to zero of the difference quotient as a way for finding the slope of tangent lines to a function f of x. And we define the derivative to be the slope of the, the function that describes the slope of the tangent lines. So we could also look at our constant function c and say, hey, we're, we want to find the derivative of our function f of x equals c. And we could say, hey, that's just going to be the limit as h goes to 0 of the difference quotient, which is just f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. And now you go to your constant function c, and everywhere you see an x, you replace it with x plus h, but there is no variable x showing up there. So we just get c when we replace all the x's with x plus h's minus f of x itself. f of x is just c, so we get c minus c over h, and we're taking the limit on this ratio as h goes to 0. So this is going to equal the limit as h goes to 0 of c minus c is 0 over h. So f prime of x equals, well, 0 divided by h, we take the limit as h goes to 0. The 0 divided by h equals 0 as long as h is not itself 0. And if we take the limit as h goes to 0 of 0, we just get zero. So the derivative of a constant function is zero, which we can justify by using the definition of the derivative. 